If you spend any time gambling on sports, you'll know it's all about numbers. When it comes to betting on the NFL, there are two numbers that are way more important than all the others. They're called key numbers, and in football, they're three and seven. People also use key numbers for betting on basketball, but we're gonna stick to the NFL and college football because that's where they really shine. In this video, we explain what key numbers are, how they work, and how you can use them to make more winning football bets. Let's get started. Key numbers refer to the most common margins of victory. Looking back at the last 20 years or so of the NFL, more than 14% of all the games have ended with a margin of three points, and over 8% of the games have been decided by seven points. That's because unlike baseball and hockey, points in football are scored mainly in increments of three or seven. In fact, whenever a game is tied late or goes into overtime, it'll almost always end with a margin of three or seven points. Remember, we're not talking about total points scored in the game, just the difference between the winning and losing team scores. These key numbers are also the reason that you see so many point spreads sitting around the three and seven point marks. Sportsbooks like these numbers so much that if they have to adjust their point spread bets, they'll do it by changing the payout odds instead of moving the spread off of three or seven. There are a few ways that you can use key numbers to make better bets, but let's start with the basics. Looking back at the last 20 years of historical NFL data, we can see that when the point spread was three and a half, the favorite covered the spread almost 52% of the time. When the spread was seven and a half, the favorite covered the spread almost 54% of the time. That means if you just blindly bet on the favorite to cover the spread in every single game with those point spreads, you'd be a long-term winner. Interestingly, when it comes to NCAA football games with the same spreads, it was actually the underdog that covered the spread more than half the time. Another way you can use key numbers to bet point spreads is by buying points. Sportsbooks let you adjust the point spread in your team's favor by a half point, a full point, or one and a half points. This makes it more likely for your team to cover the spread, but you have to pay a premium in the form of worse odds on your bets. Since key numbers in football are the most common margins of victory, a good strategy is to buy points in order to move the spread past either three or seven. So say you wanna bet on the Colts to cover the spread at minus three. If they win by one field goal, the bet's gonna be a push and you won't get the win. But by buying a half a point to make the spread minus two and a half, you get slightly worse odds, but a way bigger chance of winning since the most likely margin of victory for the Colts is three points. When you learn how to use them, key numbers are a powerful concept for betting football. For more tips and strategies about how key numbers can help you make better bets, check out the full guide available for free on WSN.com. Thanks for watching and good luck.